Hey guys, this is a long haul, so grab a snack and something to drink and get comfy. Hey guys, thank you for checking out my channel. So today I have a collective haul for you guys. So literally this is stuff that has just been kind of climbing up my wall <laughs> for the last couple months. So I just kind of fell off the bandwagon and I'm like, you know what, I owe them a video. Like I said, today is a haul video, it's a collective haul. I have some makeup, some jewelry, some shoes, and some clothes. So if you guys are interested to see what I picked up, then keep watching. So I guess I'll just kind of go in a random order. I'm going to go ahead and just get the makeup out of the way. If you guys are only interested in kind of like accessories, shoes, and clothing, I would say fast forward. When I was down south on a little mini vacation that I took, I picked up a matte bronzer. It's by City Color and it's called Be Matte. And this is actually in the color Toasted Coconut Matte Bronzer, which a lot of you ladies love. I like the idea of it. Um, it's just a little on the orange side. I'm not wearing it today, but be very careful with it. They do have other, other colors and I actually picked this up at uh, G-Stage down south when I was, I was actually got to go into a G-Stage store. So the consistency, it's like I said, matte. Here's the color. It's pretty pigmented. So you can see there, I don't know if my lighting's picking it up, but that's the bronzer. It's by City Color called Be Matte. And like I said, they did have other shades there. I picked up on a whim at Walmart while I was shopping was um, one of the new Wet n Wild Color Icon palettes. And I actually picked this up because I thought it was going to be similar to the Vanity palette because it is neutral colors. This is palette 395A and it's called The Naked Truth. So you can see it's all um, pretty much neutral colors. You have your brow bone, your base, your definer, um, some uh, the color for like all over the eyelid, and then your crease color. This is um, not uh, similar to Vanity. It's, I mean, in the concept that they are neutrals, yes. But I feel that there is a lot more uh, shimmer in this palette. I feel like the Vanity has more of a um, a range of colors like you have like a little bit more of a yellow gold color and that has some shimmer and then you have like a matte crease color not crease color but your transition color and then your brow colors and then your crease colors here I feel this is more blah the pigment is okay I can't complain about that but for the price of it I guess eh. would I purchase it again no if I found found the vanity palette again would I purchase again hell yes I wouldn't think twice about that so I did pick up another wet n wild uh, product actually two more the first one um, is the wet n wild this is from the Fergie line I picked up the eye primer and overall I like the consistency um, I was I tried one of hard candies cons um, eye primers and I didn't like it I felt it was too almost silicone -y. this I like it's thicker almost like a creamy color uh, a cream consistency and it dries and it just feels nice and smooth so I would say um, I'm liking that I've tried it a couple times and it does keep my eye makeup in place where it needs to be so and the last thing I picked up from wet n wild is a mega last liquid lip color and I don't know why the hell I purchased this to be honest I hate the consistencies of it I just I've actually watched a couple videos to see if I can get down how to apply this um, I have a couple other colors and I seen this one and this is actually in uh, Back to the Fuchsia number 923A. The color is beautiful. I just, the, it's the consistency, that dryness that it gives you, which obviously it being a liquid lip color, it's going to be dry matte. So I guess the whole technique is, is you're supposed to put it on and let it dry kind of like paint does and not smack your lips together which is very very hard so I'm gonna keep playing with it hopefully I can get it to where I'm, I'm at least using it this that I picked up was a mascara I picked up the covergirl um, bombshell volume by lash blast and I actually like this uh, it's a two-step the first one and it's not like a two-step where one's white and then the other one's black and you have to put it on top they're both black one end is for, I believe one end is for like volume and the other one is for length. Correct me if I'm wrong, I did get it in very black and I like it. I usually tend to go for waterproof mascaras, but this one actually stays in place. I haven't had any issues with it, so um, I'm liking that. 
couple lip liners when I was down south and I love this brand. I was turned on to this brand by a girl from Instagram. We did like a little mini swap there. And she sent me a couple of these lip liners and they are amazing. They are the creamiest lip, lip liners you can think, think of. I actually ordered a couple more on eBay just because I'm like, well, I'm not going to be going down south anytime soon. And there was um, a couple like neutral colors that I wanted to try out. So I did pick up fuchsia and plum. So these are very, very, very creamy lip liners. Very pigmented. This is plum. Which is right here. And like I said, it's very smooth. You know, they don't tug when you're putting them on your lips. And the next one is fuchsia which is down here so this is plum and this is fuchsia and you get pretty good amount this is like eight ounces so I don't know for a dollar you can't really beat that I would say those are comparable if not too better than the, some of the MAC lip liners that are out there and the last thing as far as cosmetics is from elf studio I picked up this high definition under eye setting powder so Hopefully um, this can be an alternative to my banana powder that I use to kind of um, set underneath my, my concealer. Some of them are from my visit down south. Uh, other, the others are from Forever 21 and from Rainbow. So I'm going to go ahead and get the ones from Forever 21 out of the way. The first one is this just basically gold link necklace here. And it has circles and it has these little links in between there so this is regularly 1080 they were on sale it was during a jewelry sale I think it was either 30% off or you buy one you got the other one free I can't really remember what it was but I definitely did not pay ten dollars and eighty cents for it so the next one is this long gold chain so it has like little thin chains in between and then it has these gold little links also this is a longer chain and this one was regularly ten dollars and eighty cents also and the last one for forever 21 that i picked up is um this black and gold necklace here there's uh various strands to this necklace and then oops i have it on backwards here i'll show you there's various strands to this next necklace and then it has this little bar here that attaches all of them together very pretty statement piece it's black and gold and this one was regularly ten dollars and eighty cents so for rainbow i picked up these little package of stud earrings here it was um and you know how rainbow jewelry is you buy one it's always on sale you buy one you get one half off i don't know what else i got with it i think it was a necklace but i don't know where i placed it anywho these are the little studs they're a bunch of little different shaped little studs and these little ones right here i always feel like if i don't have an earring in I feel like I'm like a boy kind of you know I look I feel very boyish when I'm not wearing earrings so I always kind of tend to keep something like a pack of earrings in my purse or in my car that way if I'm running late to work and I forget to put some earrings in I have something to at least pop in my ear lobes. from down south I picked up these um, chains for a dollar they were just this simple gold chain here let me take it out of the package so you can see I got a gold one and I got a silver one. So I picked these up for a dollar a piece. Can't beat that. I picked up a gold cuff. And with these gold cuffs, they are adjustable. So you can stretch them if you need to. Show you what that looks like. Oh, I need to loosen this one up a little bit so it doesn't look so tight. But that's the idea for this. And what I do with these is like I spray the inside with a clear coat so that way it's not leaving my arm green like after I've sweat for a while. I picked up these hoops here. These gaudy hoops, you know me, my gaudy jewelry. And I picked up another pair. I feel so bad for my boyfriend when we go shopping down there because he like already knows where I'm gonna hit. There's this lady at the Paramount um, swap meet these are these right here these are just dangling hoops also they have like this uh, chevron print in it it's like black and gold super cute anywho like i was saying i just feel so bad for him because he knows exactly where we're gonna go like when we stop at the paramount flea market he's like he goes i know where she's going she's gonna go look for more jewelry like as if she doesn't have enough 
and I'm, you know, I feel really bad, but I guess vice versa because where he likes to go, I already know too, so he likes to go check out like all the old tools and stuff like that, which is just like I'm really, and I say the same thing, like he needs more tools, but eh, you live and you learn. So the next pair that I got are these little cute studs. These are actually, um, they do have backings on them, piercings, and they are black and gold. So I guess you kind of see a theme here, black and gold, right? Okay, so let's get on to clothes. No random order. I'm just going to start pulling stuff out of the bag so I can show you guys because I have a lot to show you. So the next thing I picked up is from Rainbow, and they're these um, harem type pants. I paid $14.99 for them, and I got them in a 2X, and they are a tribal print. So they have like lime green pink turquoise or like a mint and blue and white in them so the waist is super stretchy you have a super stretchy band and then it gathers at the foot there too so i think this would look super cute with like a crop top so from down in la i went to the store called q fashion and it's actually the website is called fashion q, excuse me i take that back fashion q 1982.com so I don't know if you can find a store there near you. Royal blue dress, and it's like a bodycon type fit, and it has a sweetheart neckline, and it has this gold belt kind of going detail going across the front there, and it actually gathers in the front like where the skirt part is. So, like I said, it's like a bodycon fit, and <laughs> this was regularly $20.99 she took off like I think a dollar I got it for $19.99 because there's a little thread that was pull pulling on here this dress is on loveculture.com's plus size line yes you heard me right loveculture.com does have a plus side line plus size line so check them out if you have it but it's on their website for like $32 and I scored this for $19.99 so what I like about the boob area is there's like boning in the um in the boob area so it'll kind of help give your boobs some shape there so i got it in a 3x as usual you guys know that when i use like the junior plus lines i um always go for a 3x then like i said i did get a chance to check out g stage where they have junior clothing plus sizes and accessories i believe they have shoes too i picked up a couple items Apart from the bronzer, I picked up this cami, and it's like a flower color, has little spaghetti straps, and it's pretty flowy here. I got it in a 3X, and this was $11.99. So it's like a, a peachy coral, and it has like blues, greens, and white flowers going through it. So it's almost, I don't want to say it's cropped, but it's a shorter length. It's not a very long length, so I think this will look very, very cute with a... Uh, like a maxi skirt or you can even do a sh shorts with it and maybe some wedges so super super cute elastic backing and like I said it was $11.99 and I got it in a 3x this romper and I can't even believe I paid $30 for this romper but I just I loved the print on it it's this tribal print romper and it has this uh, flowy bust line right here little ruffle at the bust I got it in a 3x and I actually already wore this. I'm gonna insert a picture somewhere, probably towards the end, so you can see how it fits me here. It does have a belt, so that's why the waist looks super small, because it's it's um, tied in there. And it is a, not gathered at the bottom, but it is like a straight leg here, so. That's it. It's very, sh I don't want to say it's very sheer because it's not like you can see through it, but it's very lightweight, just really, really cool for like the summer months. So I don't know if this is still on their website. I've actually picked up the last one that they had there in the store. From Ross, I picked up this maxi dress. It's a black and white maxi dress. It's very thin strapped and it has like a little um, bubble top, I want to say. Like it's not very form fitting right up at the top. So it's very good to help conceal like problem areas, which I have my problem area is like right below the breast area. I just have like, you know, it's my uncomfortable area that I don't really care for. But I paid $14.99 for this and it's like a black and white and almost has these like chevron type arrows going through it. This is a long maxi dress so it fits me all the way to my feet. 
and I got it in a 2x and I paid $14.99 for it. On to ASOS, I picked up a bodycon dress from there and I love the detail that's in this bodycon dress. It's this netting that goes through the top there and it has this floral, like almost velvet floral sweetheart neckline and then on the sides and the back it has this netting also so you can see this is the back of it and I would say it's almost like it's not a very short bodycon it hits me probably um, I would say to my knees and I got this on sale it was on clearance and I this is actually in ASOS's straight sizes US 14 so that's that, this little frickum dress. Picked up a couple items from debshops.com. You guys know I love my Deb and when they have a sale, even better. So I picked up a couple peplum tops, like I need any more peplum tops, but I actually, when I did this purchase, I picked up three. Um, I picked up this pink one. I got this in a 2X and it's the price is $23 and I actually paid $12 for it, it was on sale. And it has um, some boob support in it for your breast there it has some cups in the breast area it has a sweetheart neckline and a zipper backing on it there so this neon pink and I also got a coral color a white one this white one is a little bit different As you can see it's like a lace peplum here and I got this in the 2x and this one's regularly $28 and I like I said I think I got it for like 12 bucks and the last item I picked up from Debs is for the summertime also and there are these lace palazzo pants so it's black lace and it has like a black short underneath to obviously cover the buttocks and the, the top area and then the bottom is like all sheer so it's like from your thigh down it's all see-through lace here so beautiful elegant detail on it. I think this would be really cute as a base uh, a bathing suit cover-up if you wanted to go to beach in, in, in this, also you can put some sexy sandals on and a nice top and you can wear it um, on vacation, like if you're going to dinner. Super, super cute. I got mine in a 2X and they're $24.90 and I think I paid regular price for them. I don't know that these are still on the website. You guys will have to check that out. Let's mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys some shoes. The first pair of shoes that I have are a pair of wedges and these are super cute. They are by the brand Delicious. They are size 10 and they are these white and brown wedges. They almost remind me of salt waters. If you guys know what salt water sandals are, if you had salt water sandals when you were a kid, um, I actually had some. They um, have this detail across the front of it. So I know salt waters are still pretty popular, but this is in the form of a wedge. So these are super cute. Um, I think they were on sale for like 18 or 19 dollars when they were 20 percent off on gojane.com sexy black pair of heels that i picked up from burlington and i believe i paid 19.99 for these they are the single sole black pump here and they have this elasticizing bands that go across the front here so pretty much your foot sits in like this as you can see this goes across your ankle your foot kind of sits in like that so these type of shoes are really popular right now the single sole with all the straps it has about maybe a four inch heel i would say they're not the most comfortable list but if you're going somewhere that you're not going to be on your feet all day long i would say they would definitely spice up any outfit these next ones that i actually picked up on sale they were the last pair at love culture in my local mall i paid 13.97 for these and they're a black booty so like a single sole wedge booty black lace up you can't go wrong these are just really basic um, I think you could put these with capris even shorts or even a nighttime dress like a bodycon dress if you wanted to go out with your girls and they would definitely spice up any outfit so like I said they have lace detail across the front the zipper backing so making it comfortable for our DVs that have a wider foot single sole with this little wedge. So that wedge is what's gonna give you a little bit of the support there. The shoe that I'm gonna show you is actually by the brand Scene, and this is from the Shoe Dazzle website. And the name of the shoe is Nafesa, a size 10. I actually got these after I seen a picture of them on Instagram when they posted a picture of these. So 
they have been out for a while I don't know that they're still on the website but um, you can definitely take a look so Nafesa is another concept of these strappy booty type shoes the single sole and it has the snake skin detail at the back so zipper entrance also it has the lace up so you can adjust to the width of your foot and I got her in a size 10 so I would say she's definitely pretty true to size it is like extremely hot right now in my room it's about 5 30 6 o'clock in the evening and the sun beats on my back window here in my bedroom and this is obviously the only place that I do my filming so like I'm like literally dropping gobs of like sweat so I'm sorry I know that sounds very gross but I'm keeping it real with you guys keeping it 100 so okay I've got a couple more things two more stores that I'm gonna show you and that'll be a wrap is DD's discounts you guys know I love my DD's and they actually opened another one in a, a town pretty close to me so I'm hoping eventually my town will get one but I have to drive about 15 minutes to my local the one that's closest to me as far as for DD's but I picked up these sandals and I actually went with a size 11 just because some of their sandals run a little small and there are these like blush colored sandals little blush colored gladiator sandals and they have this gold detail across the front and around the ankle there so like I said um, I picked up a size 11 I'm normally a 10 and these were $9.99 I picked up this gaudy top. I'm going to show it for you to, to you guys for $4.99. This is in their plus section. It's just this sequin um, black and silver sequined top. I just think that would look really cute with um, harem pants. And I'm like you tuck it in and just kind of leave this out a little bit. Kind of give you a flowy looking top. Or just even with like capris or shorts. If you want to dress something up. This I mean the detail on it is just amazing. And for five bucks I mean you can't really beat it. I actually got because of my boyfriend. You guys know that he is obsessed with horses. So I picked up this little chambray tank. And it actually has little caballitos on it. So caballitos are horses. Little horsies on it. I think that's really really cute and I got this I paid $9.99 for it I know I know I don't think it's worth $9.99 but I got it because I thought like okay well if we ever went to the to the ranch or something like that if I ever go to the ranch with him then I could wear this with like some jeans and my boots so yeah that's that $9.99 at DD's up another peplum top I really hope peplum doesn't go out of style like any time soon but this one's super cute this one, um, I, the price tag is off of it, I don't know where it's at, but I got this in a 2X and it's this white and black striped peplum top and what I love about it is up at the shoulders it has this studded detail. So like, you guys know these little grommets, like anything that has like studs on it, I'm obsessed with. I've been obsessed with for like years now, years. And so yeah, this is, it's almost like a cap sleeve. I know I didn't pay over $10 for this top. And it actually has a little cutout in the back also, which is super cute. So just the detail on this shirt in general for $10, that was a steal. And my last thing, and I think probably the best thing that I loved about what I picked up at DD's is this romper. It's unbuttoned now, but it's this like army green color. And it has a last size waist, I cannot say that, with a belt on it. And it has these little cargo pockets on them, cargo pant, and it gathers at the bottom. So this was, are you ready? Wait for it, wait for it, $9.99. So I got this in a 2X and this is by Toxic. I just think this would look super cute with like some nude heels, like those cage heels. Looks super hot. Um, I would love to do an inspired look on this, so stay tuned for that. And um, I can't wait to show you guys how I'm going to pair this together there. This is Faya's, Fala's, whatever you guys call it. But, okay, so Fala's is a discount store. Almost similar to like, um, I think back east you guys might have like Easy Pickens or Conway's or something like that I want to say. Or Strawberries, but something similar. It's a discount store. I picked up this mint dress. Isn't that cute? It has these button details in the front with pockets these little sleeves that have detail too and then it has an elasticized waist what i said it without messing up there elasticized waist and it has these little pockets too very sheer very lightweight and i believe it was 7.99 so 
All you gotta do is just throw a cute little belt with this, some wedges, and you're good to go. I also picked up this maxi dress, and it was $7.99. I got it in a 2X, and it's this gray and yellow um, maxi dress. This is very sheer, so I think I'll use this more like as a swimsuit cover-up or like just to wear to the beach or something over my bathing suit but it's a 2x and it's like a shirt detail so it's sleeveless and it goes all the way to the ground on me i'm five well not to the ground but to past my ankles you know it's a maxi length it's not too high and like i said the colors are gray and yellow the last clothing item that i picked up there is this tank top and i actually got this in their straight sizes it's an extra large and i paid 5.99 for it and it's just this aqua colored not aqua but like teal green tank and it has this detail up at the neckline and it also have this little like blingy detail at the pocket it's like a faux pocket but i think it's super cute just gives it you know cute detail i think this would be super cute like under a blazer with a pencil skirt like if you had to wear it to work the finale to our haul video is this black bag which i also picked up from fallas and this was 9.99 it's just this little bag cro black cross cross body here it has little grommets gold grommets on the side gold chain gold chain hardware wear so like i said just if you're looking for a cute little cross body has two little pouches not really you know really simple two little pouchettes on the inside so for 9.99 you could tuck the chain in if you wanted to wear it just like as a little clutch but it has this quilted pattern on it with the gold grommets on this side that's pretty much it for my haul i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm sorry if i was rambling too much until next time love yourself love your body love your curves i love mine <laughs>